Huh? Right, here's what's happening. What do you think this is? Army manoeuvres. Look, I want anything to go right, don't I? Who's getting there when? You're gonna be lucky. Look, I've put everything half an hour in front so nobody's late. Yeah, especially the bouncers. I'm not expecting any trouble. It should be money for our rope, this. Still going well, is it? Phone lines are still buzzing. Well, just so long as they passed on the right number. I've checked, haven't I? And they know the left from the right. Nice. You better get down there, see what's happening. Hey, who knows it? Yeah, just me and the sparks. But by tonight, every teenager for 30 miles. 30? Yes. Morning. <sighs> All right. Having something delivered? Eh, uh, well, not exactly, no. Only loads of loot. Ah, oh, selling it? Eh, uh, well, borrowing it, sort of. Well, that's one way of putting it. Oh, well, standing around here won't keep the old heart pumping. Don't you get chased by dogs? I outrun them, which is more than you could do. What a divvy. I thought he's nothing to do with me. Hey, you're not mates with him, are you? He just lives around here, doesn't he? Well, as long as you haven't given him a ticket. Look, I haven't got enough to worry about without bothering him. Now, get on the... Oh, getting behind schedule, are we? Yeah. Nice. Do you know what I stand to lose? If this doesn't work out. You said it was all sorted. Yeah, well, I hope it is. It's the middle of nowhere. It's great, isn't it? I'm getting the punters clear directions. You're not going to make much if they all get lost. Look, it's not my fault you've got no sense of direction, is it? Hey, is there any road round here any different from any other? But right, this place has been abandoned since World War One. Yeah, well, at least the neighbours won't complain, will they? Yeah, the rats might. Look, what do you want? Five stars and room service. <laughs> Why knows? Look, you'll notice in the dark. And like you say, it's the music that matters, and that's down to you. Hey, uh, we did say 500, didn't we? <laughs> 250. Well, like you said, it's the music that matters. Did I? Five. Three. Four. Well, you better make it worth it. Hey. Hey, what's that doing there? Keeping us out. This should have been sorted by now. Looks like we're not the only ones locked out. Anybody in there? Plan breaking down, is it? Hey, come on, get up, you lazy get. Where's your lift, then? The security guy. Somewhere around here. You mean you don't know? Well, I only met him here, didn't I? And you gave him the money up front? Well, he had to. No name, no address. Look, I'll sort him out later. So, we can't get in. We can now. Huh. Yeah, it will be. What time we start? About half an hour, I hope. <laughs> Sending search parties out then. Don't be stupid, they'll turn up. Well, if they don't, hope you like Lucas Aid.
ticket shop with every club from here to Yorkshire. It's like what they say about school. Hard work, you earn loads of money. Hard work? Printing a few tickets? Listen, it was hard work having the idea. It was hard work having a bottle to get it going, wasn't it? But Teddy only knew what was happening. What? Oh, nothing. Look, is everyone having a good time? That looks like it, doesn't it? Hey, makes you wish you were 17 again. <laughs> all right, lads. There you go, all right. Looks like you've done all right. Yeah, they're not bad for the first attempt, eh? Thinking of uh, doing it again, are you? Actually, I'm working on the publicity already. Nah, they're not going to be listening. What's this uh, place missing, do you think? I like it, Shay. A bit of excitement. What? Oh, another bag of sand. Can I do that somewhere else? Like where? I don't know, anywhere out of my sight. No. Oh, come on, will you? Just pack it in. I packed them in on Thursday. That's why I'm laughing now. Well, why don't you go next door and do your laughing, eh, Peter Stringfella? I've got things to do. Tell you, you can't have anything better to do than watch this. What? What are you counting money? Yeah, counting my money. <laughs> I'm rubbing my nose in it. Well, you know my motto, don't you, sir? You win some, and then you win some more. Come on, clear up, will you? I want to get the tea ready. Why? What are we having? Oh, I didn't think you'd be interested. I mean, I got rid of all the caviar on Saturday night. Now, oh, Terry, never let it be said that I've lost sight of my roots. I can see something. Oh, hey, I've got nothing in. It's all right, sir. I'll see you to a Chinese. Nah, no, it's all right. I don't want to get in the way of your profit margin. Hey, Terry, you had your chance, didn't you? Story of my life. You should have seen it. Yeah, I should have seen it, shouldn't I? There was millions of them. It was shocking. Great. And not one of them bunked in. Do you know that? Lucky you. Well, I told you. You've got to make your own luck, haven't you? So I've heard. Terry, you've got to speculate to accumulate. Yeah, but if you've got nothing to speculate with, you're not going to accumulate nothing, are you? Oh, I can't wait for the next one. The next one? Yeah. It's going to be bigger, better, and more Brewsters. And who are you going to bribe this time? Whoever it takes. You're going to get the busy to raid it again? Probably the riot squad this time, Terry. Where are you going to have it? I don't know yet, but whatever it is, it's going to be five times bigger than the last one. Do you reckon? I'm telling you. I don't, uh, I don't suppose you, you want someone to give you that hand with the next one, will you? I don't know about that. Probably need a few more people on the door and that. Be cash in answer. What a bouncer. No, um, I'm selling the Lucas aid. Forget it. Why, what's up, sir? Nothing. Are you, um, thinking of putting some money into this one? Well, yeah. And you're not, um, gonna pull your money out at the last minute like you did last time? No. I see. Well, what do you reckon, then? What about? Well, about me putting some money into the next warehouse, do? I'll think about it. Nah.
All right, Rod. All right, Barry. Been any phone calls from me, has there? No. Why are you expecting something, are you? I'm always expecting something, aren't I? Maybe you should buy an answer to the machine, then. State agent hasn't phoned for me, has he? No. Why are you not thinking of moving, are you? What? I'll break up a happy family home like this? No chance. Hey, uh, what are you all dressed up for, anyway? Well, well, then, um, some of us don't need a reason, do we, to be dressed up? Oh, uh, just thought you might be going to a party or something. What party is that? This one over here. This, um, mysterious party. Oh, that? That was ages ago, wasn't it? It's a funny sort of ticket, though, wasn't it? It's a funny sort of party. Hasn't even got a venue on it. It was a surprise party. So, um, where was it held, then? Ah. Oh. Look, look, I know you're my stepbrother and all that, like, and... I should have invited you, but, you know, I just didn't think. It was an illegal party, wasn't it? Illegal? Don't know nothing about that, officer. I mean, I just had a drink and a dance and all that, you know? Yeah, well, the idiots who organise these parties don't know the trouble they're letting themselves in for. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time I see them, I'll tell them. You think you're so clever, don't you? I'm a lot cleverer than some of the people I know. Well, how clever's this, then, eh? Hey, you divvy! What? Invited to a party, were you? 500 times, yeah? You just made a big mistake there, plodding. I've made a mistake. You're the one breaking all the laws. Oh, and I suppose it's part of busy procedure, is it? Going through somebody's bag? Yeah, well, I'm powered under Section 2, Part 1 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act to search your bag if you have reasonable suspicion that there may be evidence contained therein, which may indicate a crime has been committed. All right? Can you say that again? How long have you been running these acid house parties? Acid house parties? You've been needing the sun again, haven't you? How many have you put on? Look, uh, I'm entitled to one phone call. You don't know a good lawyer, do you? Big hard knock in your suit, aren't you? Plazzy gangster. What happens if there's a fire at one of these do's, eh? And all sorts of people get killed? I don't do barbecues. What about drugs? Drugs? I've told you, you've been reading too many tabloids. There's no safety at any of these places. No fire exits, no air vents. Where'd you read that? This week's news of the plod. If you go into any place on Saturday night in town, it's a fire risk. All right. So that makes what you're doing right, does it? Yeah. I'm not interested in right or wrong. I'm just interested in money. Yeah, well, you can use that to pay your fines, can't you, when you get raided? I got raided the other week. It was the best thing that happened to me in ages. Yeah, well, you've been sussed now. What are you going to do? Shop your own stepbrother? What would the family say about that? I'm not interested. Didn't Italy used to train kids in the war to do that? It's not down for you. No. Well, that's really upsetting, that. But I can't worry about it right now. See, I've got to go and see a man about a way house. ta -da, brothers. So? Listen, sort it out today, and there's a drink in it for you. If you don't sort it out, there'll be a few false teeth. All right? Good. All right, boys. Look, says, uh, I'll get down the road and uh, I'll call in Dawson's on the way, all right? Thanks. All right, see you later. Good on, mate. What's up, sir? Sue's ma's been killed in a car crash. I'm just helping her out with the funeral. What, she's here? Do you know what you're doing, Sally? I'm only helping her out. Tell you what, you're not half good. Most fellas would have told us to I don't need her. Good. I wouldn't get you anywhere, would I? You just take what she's done to you, which is fair enough. Anyone would. She's only staying a few days. Just remember why you're in this position. Why you're on a dad. And why you're on your own. 
Right, anyway, down to business. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news about the warehouse. Well, I only want the good news. Well, the bad news is the warehouse that we went for, we haven't got it. It's fallen through. Someone's bought it or something like that. But I've got my eye on another one. And what's the chances? Well, we live in Oak, don't we? I'm expecting a phone call this afternoon. Well, where is this new warehouse? Ah, now that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Hi, uh, Giles. Uh, Any phone calls from me, Bod? No. I'm hoping to go into community liaison and can't prevention, like. Where have you been? What's that? Talk to yourself, Rod. Yeah, why change the habits of a lifetime, eh? <laughs> when he's gone? Monday. Oh, right. Package your order, is it? Yeah, it's a package, isn't it? Who, eh? Please don't tell him. It's with. Please, I won't speak to you ever again. <laughs> Club 18 to 30 to Rhodes. Uh, you cow! <laughs> you want to get Club 18 to 30? Oh, what's wrong with that? Sex and more sex. Yeah. What's wrong with the neighbourhood watch thingy, anyway? Hmm? Jimmy, the neighbours don't watch nothing around here except for the telly. Hey, I'm hoping to go on a course about all this, you know. Roger's always going on courses. Yeah, well, I'll be staying at Tomo's until it's finished. Oh, Gonna be, uh, spending a bit of time away from home then, are you, kid? None of your business. Yeah, well, I might have known me and Sheila away. There's no one to cook for you. I'll oh, behave. Well, whoever does your cooking, it's not gonna be us. Yeah, we won't be doing any cooking for a fortnight. We won't be doing a hand's turn. Yeah, that's you right. It's just some concept. I know you, so. Yeah. Well, I hope it keeps fine for you. What time is it? Um, twenty past five. What's up, Bazzy? Just waiting for the phone call, Jim. Oh, why? Important, is it, kid? Well, I wouldn't be waiting if it wasn't important, would I? It's no mill. Well? Hey, listen, what's all this with this, uh, you know, community policing and all that lark? Well, it's permanent days for a start, isn't it? I mean, shifts don't do much for your social life. Certainly didn't do much for me and Kirsty. Neither did knocking off WPC Emma Reid. Oh, give us a break, will you? No, Jim, I think it's dead important, like, you know, this community policing. I mean, look at poor Sammy Rogers the other day. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Bit of a blow to the system there, wasn't it, eh? Is she saying it well, isn't she? Mm, crap. Meaning what, like? What well, burglar's gonna try and kick the door down in broad daylight? She had a barney with Owen, that's what's happened. Now, do you know all this? I've kicked a few doors in in me time, haven't I? Oh, knock him dead, eh, Baz? Great seduction technique, that, innit, eh? Hey? Yeah, <laughs> but why would Sammy lie? Would it stop an old fella from kicking no one's head in, wouldn't he? I think I'm still in one piece, eh? That's a load of crap. Anyway, I'm gonna get some milk. Ta-ra. Hey, bud, if you get lost, you know what to ask, don't you? If you can find one. Huh. At least he's not in Sid, is he? Leave him alone, will ya? Hey, look who's talking. Um, do you think we'll have to take this many pairs of knickers? I mean, we might be able to get to a lawn dress after the week, might we? Not going near the washing machine on my holidays. Hey, look, do we have to listen to this? Why don't you go upstairs and pack, eh? Hey? You're trying to get rid of us, are you, Jim? Yes. Come on, Nick, I think it's going to be boys' talk down here. Oh, boys' talk. Whippets, pigeons, beer. Balls. Oh, yeah, definitely. Listen, Barry, uh, I wanted to have a word. You know about Joey Gotten. Well, you know he murdered uh, Frankie, didn't he? And he did me over good and proper. And then he went and murdered our cousin, Don. I thought the coroner said it was death by misadventure, Jimmy. Yeah, he did. But we both know he was talking out of the wrong god of fist, don't we? Listen, you went to see Joey Cotton, and it's all been nice and quiet since then, hasn't it? Well, I want to know what went on, what happened. Why? What should have happened? What should I have done, Jimmy? What happened, Barry? Just leave it, eh? You don't want to know. Yeah, he does. And so do I. Didn't hear you knock. I'm not Rod. Look, I just went to see him and we come to an agreement. An understanding. It won't be bothering you anymore. Right? Look, come on, will ya? No, you come on, Jimmy. That's not very fair, is it? Well, sometimes life isn't fair, is it, Trace? Don't stop me from running you to the airport, Dom. All right? Yes. Travellers' checks. Yes. 2,000 drachmas and cash. That's it, then. We're done. What time is it, Jimmy? Uh, four to six. Is it this call you're waiting on? Might be. Hey. 
still time to invite me, you know, kid. See, you're joking, aren't you? Why? Well, well, she old for the 18 to 30 limit, aren't you? Go away, and how old are you, eh? Well, I'm 30. What? Duh. Blown it up. Yeah, but who's an old not 29? Ah, pfft. You're not coming with us. I am. To the airport. To get along, someone. Ross, you've only got one pint of milk. There's five of us. One pint will make five cups. I think what she's trying to say is the night is yet young. And before long, we're all going to be having more than one cup of tea each before daddy. Hello? Yeah? Oh, good. What time? Cash? Right. All right, then. Thanks a lot. See ya. What time did you say you was going to the airport? One o'clock. Right, I'll definitely run you then. You seem very keen to do this. Well, I'm that type of fella, aren't I? And anyway, I've got to go and see someone there. At one o'clock on Monday? It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it just? Try then. He's up to something. Don't get a move on, you won't get the flight at all. Where are we? Anyway, thanks for the lift, and that. Look, it's no problem, come out this way. Are you gonna get off somewhere? Yeah, no, no way. Listen, when you get over there, make sure you go to the casino, what's that sound? Yeah, well, that sounds more our style than stupid little gross parties. Hey, and listen, when she goes in the casino, make sure she doesn't ask for vinegar with the chips. Oh, very funny. Hey, you did have the tickets, didn't you? Oh, you haven't. <sighs> Wait for you. Hey, you can get off me and then we don't have to carry them. Hey, no, you're not. Right. I'll see you through to the branches. How much stuff have you got in here, eh? Hey? Well, we've got to be ready for anything, haven't we? Hey, I think we're going, you know. Hey, you won't be if you don't know the upcoming. What are you doing here? If you miss this plane, I'll kill you. Why? Well, right, don't get your knickers in a twist. This is a final call for the two remaining passengers on flight LE. Right, come on. Let's do me Sue still getting off the cab? Yeah, that was Sue. I'll get you, Corkill! Sooner or later, I'll get you! 